Hello everyone, welcome to this first edition of Kawa training series on basics of information communication technology, ICTs. I'm so excited to be part of this first training series and I'm so grateful that I'm going to be taking you through this great journey of learning about information communication technology and the best of it all is that I'm going to show you how a computer works we are going to learn about a computer you might be a teacher an accountant a doctor anything any profession trust me you're going to see how to incorporate this great tool this great machine a computer in your day-to-day -day work and we're going to learn about the insides and outs of the computer see how the computer works the components of a computer such that you can manipulate and work freely with a computer welcome once again at the end of each chapter you're going to be given some few questions lesson review questions just to test how far and how much you've learned at the end of the chapter in this chapter of learning about the computer system we're going to look at three important sections the first section which is this one we're going to learn about the parts of the computer system let's jump straight away into knowing the parts of a computer system before we go any further i know you having a question what is a computer i'm so grateful that i'm going to answer that question what is a computer trust me a computer is an electronic device used to process data that's it simple definition a computer is an electronic device used to process data just know that a computer can convert data into information that is useful to you as a person and i'm so excited to show you how it does that in this simple illustration this picture i know i'm going to show you how a computer works and how a computer pro converts data into information that is useful to you as a person but a computer has four major parts and the first part is this hardware right here the second part we have the software right here and the third part we have the data right here and the fourth part the greatest part of a computer is you the user and the fourth person right here wow did you know that you also part of a computer if you didn't know right now you know see you have the hardware right here this you have the software it might be windows it might be illustrator powerpoint excel or page maker whatever you have it right here the software is installed onto the computer and you have the data right here it might be on paper which later goes on to the screen and finally being printed out again on paper through a computer that's a computer system and those are the four major parts of a computer system let us talk about the first great part of a computer system and that's the hardware a computer hardware consists of electronic devices the parts that you can see and touch the term devices refers to any piece of hardware used by the computer such as the first one right here we have our speaker all the speakers right here we have the second device or hardware which is the modem the modem that provides us with internet we have the third one which is the microphone right here we have the fourth one which is the RAM or the memory we have the fifth one which is the processor 
or the CPU, the Central Processing Unit. We have the sixth one, which we are all familiar with, or we've seen, and we've used it. I know some of you might have used it, which is the keyboard, and which we are going to be using to enter all our data. We have the seventh one, which is the mouse. We have the eighth one, which is the CD-ROM. And you might be having your music CD right there, and you want to play the music via the computer you just insert it in this eight we have the ninth one which is the diskette drive the tenth one which is the hard drive or the hard disk whereby we store all our data onto the computer where all our data is stored onto the computer we have the 11th one which is the printer after typing all those beautiful documents or viewing and taking all those pictures and you want to print them out we use this device called the printer that's the 11th hardware we have the 12th hardware which is which are the ports everything connects through the ports everything the keyboard the mouse they connect through the ports to the central processing unit and that's the computer we have 13 which is the monitor whereby you're using it right now to even view these training series we have the expansion board this cover right here that covers the central processing unit or the cpu the computer and that shows us what is hardware the things that you can touch and see let us look at the second important part of a computer and that's the software software also called the programs consists of organized sets of instructions for controlling the computer some programs exist for the computer for the com some programs exist for the computer's use to help it manage its own tasks and devices that's to say the windows that is on your computer or any operating system that you're using on your computer it just helps the computer manage its own tasks and devices other programs exist for the user and enable the computer to perform tasks for you such as creating beautiful documents looking at the third part of the computer system the data data consists of raw facts which a computer can manipulate and process into information that is useful to you as a person computerized data is digital meaning that it can be reduced to digits or numbers the computer stores and reads all data as numbers computerized data is digital meaning that it has being reduced to digits or numbers also note that the computer stores and reads all data as numbers although computers use data in digital forms they convert data into forms that people can understand such as text numerals sounds and images take an example of this one whereby we say that computers convert data into numbers for example this word right here here are some words it's a word okay but a computer can't understand that but a computer understands the numbers every letter is represented by a certain number as you see h zero a hundred a thousand e zero a hundred ten zero a hundred one r zero one one zero zero one like that that's how a computer reads data and surprisingly you will see that we have some spaces in between the words and these spaces are also represented by numbers 
you see that even a dot is represented by a number just know that there are 10 different symbols in the small system and that's 0 to 9 numbers above 9 use more than one digit so that's to say the ones the tens and the hundreds simply that's the third part of the computer and that's how it works and that's data finally the fourth part of the computer which is a great part is you the person who is using the computer people are the computers operators and users some types of computers can operate without much intervention from people but personal computers are designed especially for use by people isn't that great with all that you know what is a computer and the four great parts that make up a computer in the next chapter we're going to be looking inside the machine